get a job. Stay away from her. Welcome back. Today we're going to be watching Pocahontas. I've never seen this. I think I should have seen this a long time ago. It feels like um, a sin on my part. But I'm finally getting there. You can you can blame me actually. Boo me if you want to. Boo. I'll take it. Before we jump into this, if you want to check out the full length reaction to this movie, it will be available down below on my Patreon. Check out my socials and subscribe. Subscribe for this t-shirt. It's pretty cool. It's got the painting on the back. I have my popcorn though with me here today. I've got a drink, got popcorn. If any of you know, I've been a bit under the weather recently. If you've been on my Instagram, you'd have seen. I need something to settle the stomach at the minute. I already hate this chant. It's giving like patriotism. Ooh, not with the coronation recently. Ugh, disgusting. Oh my God, I can't believe we're still doing that in this day and age. Honestly, we are embarrassing here in England. It's just disgusting. Did I say it's disgusting? Captain John Smith. John Smith? That's the most basic ass name ever. I know I'm a Rebecca, but John Smith? Basically call him John Doe at this point. Oh. You know what's sad? I instantly know he's a villain because of his nose. Like he's just not a nice guy. And it's sad that Disney have done that to us. Yeah, that's more like it. Break that flag. If you could tell I'm not a patriot, or whatever you call them, or a royalist, whatever they're called, the fans. Like, what's their stan group called, you know, for the royals? Are the Charles fans called, like, King Charles Spaniels? John! Get down here! Oh my god, John, you're slacking, my guy. I'm gonna call them colonizers, and I don't think I'm wrong. So for that, hell yeah, let this storm take them out. If this storm wants to wipe them out, I say go for it. Wipe out Thomas. Wipe out John. Take all the colonizers! I don't know if anyone else can agree with me, and this might be the dumbest thing I've ever said. Does popcorn taste like bland what's it's to anyone? Like salty popcorn? Also, this is homemade popcorn, just saying, chef me up. Um, um, um. Governor Ratcliffe. Thomas fell overboard. Ratcliffe? Sounds like Ratcliffe from R5. Ooh, men, boo, men. Boo. If you're a man in the comments right now getting mad, go ahead. And if any Indian tries to stop me, I'll blast him. You just worry about that fortune. That is so disgusting. The savages? The savage. And this is the man that Pocahontas is supposed to fall in love with? Because I know that much. Pocahontas is supposed to fall in love with John? John Smith. The blandest man in the country. The blandest man. The blandest name. Oh, but that was a good start. It's got me riled up. I'm ready to fight a man. But that's every day. Oh, this is so beautiful. The blue and purple and the pinks. Oh, oh, cinema. Alan Menken. What else has he done? Because that's a familiar name. Has he done other Disney movies? Maybe. See, look at these poor people. They're living so peacefully. And I know this is reflective of real life, which is very sad. But they're living so peacefully, as humans kind of should. And it's going to all be ripped away from them. Mr. John. He'd have to do the biggest 180 for me to become a fan of John. I swear to God as well, there's a man here that likes Pocahontas and she still goes for John. Girlie are you okay? It's like another Beauty and the Beast situation. My god, that is some luscious hair. And this scenery is... Oh, oh, she did a trustful... Whee! From that height? Oh, that's a violation. The bird's getting eliminated. The bird is gonna die. Can someone please save the bird? Oh, she knows. And she just let the bird stay there for ages. Pocahontas girly, you're making it very hard right now. But my lord, that bird was just gonna die and she knew it was there. Gurdy said natural selection. She should say the same John Smith. Serious. Oh wait, I missed. Wait, is she being... Oh, okay, he is supposed to be her husband. See, I told you. I think he's probably a better fit. Your mother wore this for our wedding. It was her dream to see you wear it at your own. Oh, of course a parent is dead. It's not a Disney movie if both parents are alive. Although... Brave kind of broke that stereotype, so good for them. Should I marry yes. All my at an end. That's a depressing, very depressing way to put it. Now, child, you were saying, well, I'm running through the woods, and then right there in front of me is an arrow. As I look at it, it starts to spin. Yeah, because the colonizers are shooting at you. What do you see? Oh no. Clouds. Is it? It's boats. Clouds. 
I'm counting on you to make sure those filthy heathens don't disrupt our mission. <sighs> well, if they're anything like the savages I've fought before, it's the nothing I can't help. He is awful. He's done this before. I just don't see how there's like any redemption for John. Once we begin when King James sees the gold these peasants on earth success peasants? will be mine at last. <gasps> it's incredible. And it's all ours. It's not yours. Oh my goodness. Their audacity. We didn't come all this way just to look at it. Oh, and he's got his gun. Mm. I mean, I, I did not expect him to bring guns. It's just annoying. Still, uh, he needs to do like a complete character change for me to accept John Smith and be like, oh, okay, you're all right. Because Mandy's done this before. And I'm gonna be mad if what stops him is, I mean, like it's good if it stops him meeting Pocahontas, but I don't know. I'm mad at him already, as I should be. What are you doing up there? Getting a better look. She should have pushed him off that tree. Oh no, natural causes, he slipped. Hey. Instantly goes to violence. No, don't fool for him, girlie. Pick yourself up. Please pick yourself up. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> These are not men like us. They're the savages. The strange beasts with bodies that Beasts, that is correct. They are beasts. If anyone here is a beast, it's them. And savages, it's them. We will destroy these invaders the way we destroyed the Massawomics. As they should bestie. I hereby claim this land and all its riches. <sighs> and do so name this settlement Jamestown. That's such an ugly name. Jamestown? More like Lamestown. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, Pocahontas really is a stealth legend. She's been hanging about everywhere and has yet to be seen. Go boss. But now it's our turn. I think there's gonna be a lot of eye rolling and sighing in this movie. That was visually very stunning though. Virginia boys. No! Virginia no! Boys. This is not Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Do not do any digging, please. Mandy kinda looks like Peter Pan. Isn't his name like Michael or something? Oh, she really is following his every step. That powerful hair. See what a thick head of hair can do for you? Because he's musty, but that head of hair, that saves him. He's got Pocahontas all down bad for him. Also want to give a shout out because one of my favourite YouTubers called Sam for God, who does loads of Disneyland Paris content, she, I think this is her favourite movie. She has like a tattoo of it. <laughs> that is not the serve you think it is, sir. I hope he slips and falls. I hope he gets acne. Hey. Don't reach for your gun, I swear. Do not reach for your gun. He reached for the gun. I swear, if their first interaction is him pointing a gun to her face. Oh, he's locked and loaded. So the first thing he does is point a gun to her face. This is a great meet cute. <laughs> don't tell me he sees one pretty woman and he's like, you know what? These people deserve to live after all and deserve to have their land after all. It shouldn't have taken a pretty woman for you to see this. No, wait, wait. Please. I hope he lost his gun. I'm not gonna hurt you. Okay, mm-hmm, sure. But you will hurt her people. It's all right. No, don't do the Debbie Ryan. Oh my god, she did the Debbie Ryan before the Debbie Ryan. She was so down bad, Cody. Get up. Get up. I mean, don't go with him, but get off you. Oh, it's sad to see a girly down bad. For a man, this musty. <sighs> what did you say? My name is Pocahontas. Because she's listening with her heart, she can understand. You didn't have to do this. So sorry if I do not care if you are busting your asses to do something that no one asked. <gasps> I wish it hit. Was he really an idiot or was he a visionary? No! <gasps> oh my! No! Oh! These white men are dangerous. Didn't have to tell me twice. <laughs> you have the 
most unusual names here. Queer, queer Gahanic. It's better than your basic ass John Smith. You have the most unusual name too. Let's not give him that much credit. His is the most bland name I've ever seen. It's right up there next to John Doe. Nothing's happening. But he's got some damp hands. He's got some damp palms. Squelch. Flit just doesn't like strangers. Well, I'm not a stranger anymore. Mm. You're a colonizer. Don't worry, he can't hurt it. Hey, what are you doing? Yeah, the animals know what's up. The animals always do. Yes, we build roads and decent houses. And no one's asking. No one wants this. Only because you don't know any better. John Smith is all the red flags in a man. Savage is just a word. Uh, <laughs> you <know. laughs> He's like, it's just a descriptive. Don't take it personally. What you mean is, not like you. Yeah, tell him, bestie. Yeah, sing in his face. Don't I don't think he's told that often enough. <gasps> I love the cuzzled wind tune, though, that they put the motif. It's so beautiful. The people Mandy's first instinct when he sees something he doesn't know is to shoot a gun at it, like point a gun at it. Can you tell I'm not a fan of John Smith? Have you ever heard the wolf Vocals! Oh, I'm loving these visuals so much. This has got to be like one of the prettiest Disney movies I think I've ever seen. I love that line and the way she sings it. I love the violins and like the orchestra in the background. It's such a beautiful sound. I love Disney music for that though. Like it always gives it such a magical, beautiful sound. Drums. They mean trouble. Yeah. I shouldn't be here. Look at the man right in front of you. That is trouble. I have to go. Now I don't blame him for falling for her so quickly because she can sing. She's at one with nature. She's beautiful. But him? What are his catches besides his cheekbones and hair? That's called pretty privilege on him, sir. Thank you, because it's all he's got. A nice face and hair. Go. They have it, and they don't want oh to my it goodness. I'll just have to take it by force. I think I've got chills from how annoyed I am, or it's because I'm still ill. <laughs> Choose your fighter. You're hiding something. I'm not hiding anything. Pocahontas, you can tell me. I oh, she's already got the man stink on her. He's stinky, confirmed. Pocahontas can't keep running off. It's dangerous out there. Tell her that. She listens to you. Mandy, he's such a better catch than Mr. John. Will they leave? Some of them might. Will you? Oh my god, girly. Let's hope he does. You could belong here. Oh my. Oh my. Now, that tree also gives another kind of visual. Take with that what you will. Use your imagination. He has a good soul. And he's handsome too. Does he though, Grandma? Does he? Are you sure? Meet me tonight. Right here. Oh no. That's not gonna go well. I bet his buddies will be there. Kokuum. Look at them. Now we have enough warriors to destroy those white demons. Kokuum sounds like so much of a better guy. Justice for Kokuum. Let's go, Michael! <gasps> Easy, Thomas. Oh my. Okay, it's Thomas, not Michael. <laughs> I could have killed you. Not aiming like. I think he's the last person that needs a gun. Eyes. Not that any of them should have one, but if anyone shouldn't, it's Thomas. But also, let's put him on the front lines because he won't kill any of them because he can barely hold the gun. Sacrifice Thomas. Anyone who so much as looks at an Indian without killing him on sight will be tried for treason and hanged. Oh my goodness, is that gonna be the drama of the movie that John almost gets tried and hanged or just hanged? I mean, oh no. Oh, he's sneaky. <laughs> oh my goodness. He's a bad boy. Oh. I see what she's into him. Oh, he's a bad boy. Oh, oh, oh. Follow him. Yes, Captain. <gasps> Don't tell me Thomas is sneaky. a snitch. Yes, sir. And if you happen to see any Indian. Thomas is going to be a oh, Thomas, I had more hope for you, sir. Watch him be a snitch. How the mighty fool. He was my only hope. It's Pocahontas. What's wrong? Is she all right? Deserved better. Argue with the wall, he was the better man in this. Again, the visuals. This movie popped off. I will die on the hill now that this is the prettiest Disney movie I think I've ever seen. This three hour romance Let's go really got him down bad. Ooh. Oh, Thomas. I swear to God, Thomas. Thomas, do not. Thomas. 
Oh my god, it's drama. Everyone's here. Oh my, oh my, okay, okay. <laughs> he said, not my woman, as he should, because he's the better man. Yeah! Get John! Oh no, John's gonna kill him! Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh my, and the sky's all red. Oh, it's foreboding. Oh no, no! <gasps> Oh, Thomas, I was wrong to have hope for this man. Pocahontas, it won't help. He was only- He killed him! Oh, this is musty. Oh, Thomas, he deserves to burn in the pits of hell. I was rooting for Coco Home. Okay. <laughs> and they just eliminated him. <gasps> Wait, are these two people- I'm having a stroke. Are these two people- Stroke. Pocahontas was out in the woods. Oh, he doesn't even need his own men to eliminate him because they'll just do it. But let's also not blame her for Amandi's actions. I'd blame Thomas, the one who shot the bullet. Like, I guess, sure, if she wasn't seeing John, then it wouldn't have happened. So I get that. Colonizer. And now I'll never see John Smith again. But is that the issue? Is that the issue at hand, John Smith? I don't think it is. Not that male pal style man. I can't leave you. Mm. Will, no matter what happens to me, I'll always be with you. Forever. Uh, yeah, okay. I still find Disney romances funny because they have only known each other for about eight hours, maybe max. Unless this has been spanning over a couple days, which I doubt it is. I think it's just like a a day, if that. Got the savages. Savages. The captain. Mm, Thomas is musty. He left a very key detail out there. <laughs> No, I shouldn't bop to this song, but it is kind of a bop. I really thought Thomas was going to be useless with a gun, but then he's the one who struck the first kill now. So how the tables have turned. Even these visuals? And the award goes too. This movie really is giving everything but romance, and I'm fine with that. For some sure, if I was like 12, I'd be all up over this. With the romance aspect. But I have perspective. I'd like to know the general consensus of other people and what they think of this movie with the romance aspect between John Smith and Pocahontas. Oh, is it gonna lead her right to John Smith? Imagine. Spinning arrow. Oh, the oh. it was pointing to him. Oh my, I actually it's gonna lead her to him. Let the spirits of the earth guide you. The spirits of the earth did her dirty. Not unleashing him like a dog. Oh, they were just gonna bonk him over the head a couple times because that's not gonna take off his skull. Like that's not gonna be a clean cut. They were just gonna keep bashing his head. I love him, father. Oh. This is the path I choose, father. What will yours be? Her path is love, though, not just in the romantic way, but in the general human way. So, A plus for that. 10 out of 10. This movie is kind of underrated, though, I would say. No one really talks about Pocahontas as much as they should. I think it's like a forgotten Disney movie. If there is to be more killing, it will not start with me. Okay. Can he duck and roll? Because I don't want him getting a shot now. Fire! No. What? No. They let him go. They don't want to fight. It's a trick. That's oh, wait, okay. Fire! Are they really think he's finally musty? If they want to point their guns to him, I won't complain. <gasps> no! Ooh! Ooh. Ooh. Oh, he's fine. It's barely a scratch. You shot him. I love how all these mandies are so surprised. Like, if he's gonna shoot anyone, of course he'll shoot. He'll shoot anyone. It doesn't matter if it's not also. I don't know what I'm saying, but I wouldn't be surprised. Put him in chains. Get him as well. Oh my goodness. They're getting kinky in here. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. And it came so highly recommended. <gasps> <gasps> Iconic. Look at her making a grand entrance. Love that for her. That man, he's got your friend's blood on his hands. I can't look at Thomas the same after that scene. Come with me. Mm. To musty London? I think not. You must choose your own path. Oh my god, please, Bessie, do not go to London. But if she wants to go, she can go, you know, girl boss, make your own choices. I'm needed here. <laughs> that was a right decision. Stay with you. Okay, okay, he's winning some points. He's willing to die for her. 
Oh, they're going again? This is rare for Disney to do like more than one kiss in a movie. And they're not just doing a peck. This entire movie though so far is just, and it's like basically the end now. It's been stunning the entire time visually. And the music, like the score. This is a top tier Disney movie. It's sad it's so underrated. Like just look at that shot. Has she healed him? Is he healed? No, she's pushing him away faster. Be gone, John. Hmm. <laughs> Tell me you've never waved in your life before. Oh no, it's her wave, never mind. Please don't come for my neck. That was actually a sweet, genuine moment. Oh wait, that's the end? That's it? Oh, that, that's actually a brilliant ending because the colonizer is long gone and with his buddies that killed her friends. Okay, no, that's actually a really good movie. I wonder if in Pocahontas 2 though, if John Smith and Pocahontas are back together. Um, that was a bop of a movie though, that was a top tier Disney movie. Let me know what you think of Pocahontas and John Smith. Are you a fan of her and the colonizer together or do you think that they're actually cute? I'm up for either or. Let me know. I'm gonna dip now. You've seen all my thoughts, my feelings and opinions. I think it's a really great movie. I think it's a 10 out of 10. I think you should go watch it. And I think it's a very underrated Disney movie. But I'm gonna leave that there. I will see you in the next one. Bye legends.